What if you're not a language-based learner? What if that's not the way you can figure it out? What if I get a book report? A book report, what's that? And you gave me the directions. I have come to the conclusion in every classroom I've taught in, from the uh, primary grades through high school, when I had 9th through 12th graders, if I assigned them a project, I always showed them actual examples of what the project could look like later on. Either be pictures, actual concrete examples, this is what your options are. This is what it should include. They just, some of those kids just could not formulate it from a receptive language standpoint. And I want them later on to be able to be successful in the workplace or be successful in their careers, college, whatever it might be, by being able to go to a coworker and saying, what's an example of what you're looking for? Not just sit in front of their computer and say, I can't do this job, and, and want accommodations for that. If you need too many accommodations, you might not be asking the right questions for yourself. Thank you for watching today. While you're there, share this video with friends, colleagues, or anyone you think would benefit from it. You can sign up to receive these videos every week right in your inbox at www.christialesher.com. You can also follow me on Facebook. Join the conversation on changing the worst classroom behavior. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Polly Bath. Until next time, have a great day.